Dear customer, welcome to the VST Tractor family. At VST, we dedicate ourselves as a team to provide total crop solutions to enhance farm productivity. Our innovative products have earned the goodwill of farmers for its unparalleled quality and reliability. VST Sales and Service Team presents VST Tractor Installation Video. This video is a visual guide to help you to undertake proper maintenance of your VST Tractor for long, trouble-free usage. The VST Tractor comes with manuals, spares and tools. Kindly refer tractor instruction manual for detailed descriptions of the following topics. Safety precautions, instruments and controls, tractor operation, regular maintenance guide, preventive service instructions, specifications and data. Let us now take a look at the different parts of the tractor. Kindly quote the engine number and the chassis number for all kinds of communication with VST dealers, regional sales offices and VST engineers. Now let's start with the engine maintenance. Coolant Capacity Level Keep the radiator cap closed while the engine is running and never disconnect the coolant bottle from the radiator. The ideal coolant level is at the middle. Never fill it to full or else it will overflow. To keep your engine cool and running well, always top up the radiator with recommended pre-mixed coolant. Do not remove the radiator cap rubber seal, otherwise the engine will overheat. Daily check the engine oil level before starting the engine. Ensure oil level is between the maximum and minimum mark. If the oil level is low, the engine will cease. If the oil level is below the minimum level, unscrew the oil filler cap to top up. Engine oil must be changed after the first 50 hours and then after every 100 hours. When you start the engine, check engine oil pressure indication in the instrument cluster. After starting, the indication should turn off. If not, contact the dealer immediately. Air Cleaner Maintenance The oil level in the air cleaner must be inspected daily. Make sure adequate minimum oil level is always maintained up to oil level mark.
Regularly clean the pre-cleaner bowl with a clean cloth. Electrical While operating rotary, to maintain PTO RPM at 540, the engine RPM should be at 2400 or 2700, depending upon the model. For better fuel efficiency, the engine RPM indicator should be maintained within the green band. Fuel meter Don't drive the tractor if the fuel indicator is in the red band. Temperature gauge when the tractor is in operation, the temperature indicator should be in the green band. Hour meter. Use hour meter for correct maintenance. Oil pressure indicator. The oil pressure indicator glows just before the engine is started. Once the engine is turned on, the indicator turns off. Engine start procedure. Before starting the engine, check engine oil coolant level in radiator and fuel in fuel gauge. For quick and easy start, use the heater plug while starting to improve battery and start alive. While starting, all levers including the safety switch must be at neutral position. Engine stop procedure. To stop the engine, press the clutch and brake pedal, shift main gear lever, then PTO gear lever to neutral, hydraulic lever to down position, and finally pull engine stop cable to stop. Fuel system, air bleeding. Use fuel tab to start and stop fuel supply. Remove the air from the fuel filter by unscrewing the air vent screw. Then remove the air from FIP by unscrewing the air vent screw. Bleed air from nozzle by loosening nozzle pipe. Fan belt tension checking and adjustment procedure. Regularly check the fan belt tension to prevent overheating of the engine and for proper battery charging. The fan belt adjustment steps are as follows. 1. Loosen the top alternator mounting bolt located on the brace generator. 2. Adjust the fan belt tension using a screwdriver. 3. Tighten the mounting belt. Remember, tight fan belt damages the alternator and water pump bearing. Water removal from fuel system. To drain the water from fuel system, follow these steps. Close the fuel tap. Unscrew the drain plug. Drain off water from the fuel system. Air breather pipe. For better engine life, never remove air breather pipe and if damaged, replace it with a new one immediately. Radiator net condition. Always ensure that the radiator net is clean. A clogged radiator net will overheat the engine. Battery maintenance. If the tractor is not being used for more than two days, disconnect the battery cable to prevent discharge and enhance battery life. At the time of welding works, remove both the battery terminals for safety reasons. Always keep battery terminals clean and tight for better charging. Use petroleum jelly for battery terminals and not grease. While starting the engine, check if the battery light is on when you move the key to the on position. And when the engine starts, the light should go off. If not, check your charging system through the dealer. Always connect positive terminal to positive cable and negative terminal to negative cable. Don't interchange polarity. For removing battery, always remove negative terminal first, then positive terminal. For fitment of battery, always connect positive terminal first 
and then negative terminal to prevent sparking a short circuit. Always use correct rating fuse which is 15 amps. Now let's look at transmission maintenance. Checking transmission oil. Regularly check the level of transmission oil by removing oil level gauge provided on the shifter cover. Always maintain the oil level at maximum point. In 18.5 HP and 22 HP tractor model, transmission oil level is checked by removing oil level plug on the transmission case. Front axle, oil checking and filling. To fill oil in front axle, remove the oil filler plug and fill oil using funnel. To check front axle oil, remove level plug on the left side of the axle and check. Differential lock usage. If the tractor is stuck in a ditch, use differential lock to remove the tractor. While using differential lock, always keep engine RPM low and the steering wheel in a straight position. Brake usage and adjustment. For proper working of brakes, free play of brake pedal should be 20 to 30 mm. Brake pedal free play adjustment. First unscrew the lock nuts on both sides, then turn the adjustment screw up to required free play and then tighten the lock nuts. Use single brake for field operation. Use dual brake for road operation. To apply parking brake in 27 HP model, press the brake pedal and pull the parking brake cable. To release the parking brake, just press the brake pedal once. The parking brake will be automatically released. To apply parking brake in 18 HP and 22 HP model, press the brake pedal and pull the parking brake lever. To release the parking brake, just press the brake pedal once. Clutch operation. Always use clutch while changing the gears. Do not keep your foot on the clutch while driving. Do not use clutch to control the tractor or override the clutch. Always maintain correct clutch free play of 20 to 30 mm for correct clutch operation. When tractor is not used for a long time, use declutching clock to prevent clutch from being stuck. Clutch free play adjustment procedure. Remember, the correct clutch free play is 20 to 30 mm. Free play is important. If not adjusted, the clutch will wear fast. Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive operation. Use two-wheel drive mode for road use. Use four-wheel drive mode for field operation. Hydraulic operation. The procedure to use the implement lock. Raise the implement using position, that is the yellow lever. Then tighten the implement lock in clockwise direction till it is completely locked. When the implement lock is used, the hydraulic levers will not operate. Draft and position control setting. First set the implement depth using draft lever, that is the red lever. After reaching required depth, lock the draft lever using stopper.
Use position lever to raise and lower the implement when required and during turning. Information decals Use decal information for proper maintenance and operation of tractors. Wheels and other important bolts Check the wheel bolts tightness once in a week for safety reasons. Water ballasting Water ballasting the tires can help increase pulling power and improve performance. Tire pressure Maintain correct tire pressure for good tire life, better fuel average and pickup. Diesel fill up Always use fuel tank strainer while filling diesel. Always use good quality of diesel sourced from petrol banks only. Greasing points Lubricate the greasing points at regular intervals. Three-point linkage fitment system Let us now watch how to set up the three-point linkage. While hitching and unhitching the implements, please follow the following safety precautions. Always read the operator manual of the tractor and implement before use. Ensure implement HP and RPM matches the tractor HP and RPM. If necessary, choke the wheels when hitching or unhitching. While hitching and unhitching the implement, the tractor must always be on a plain surface. The tractor must be moved in low first gear when approaching or pulling away from the implement. The person on ground must stay outside the wheel of the tractor until the hitch and draw bar are correctly lined up. At the time of making PTO related implement attachment, the tractor engine must be switched off. Procedure to attach cultivator. Procedure to attach rotary.
warranty period. Warranty is valid up to one year or 750 hours, whichever comes first. Ensure free services are completed according to the timelines given. Parts not covered under warranty. Items like filters, hoses, belts, lubricants, coolants, glass rubber, clutch disc, bearings, oil seal are not covered under the warranty. Usage of adulterated oil voids the warranty. Their proprietary suppliers cover battery, tire, FIP, starter and alternator. If needed, please approach your VST dealer to get in touch with the suppliers. Daily Maintenance Everyday conduct a maintenance checklist of the following parts to ensure everything is in order. Diesel, coolant level, engine oil level, greasing points, radiator net, tire pressure. Check air filter, oil level. Check air cleaner, mesh condition. All safety switches and adjustments. Free services. VST provides five free services. The free services are valid for one year. First service is after 50 hours of operation or one month. Second service, 150 hours or three months. Third service, 250 hours or five months. Fourth service, 350 hours or seven months. Fifth service, 450 hours or nine months. Different implements and their usage. VST Shakti Genuine Oil To protect customers from local or non-genuine oil, VST has introduced VST Genuine Oil which is available only with VST authorized dealers. VST Supply Oils, Coolant and Grease in the name of VST Shakti brand. Use Genuine Oils for better performance. VST Toll Free Number For more information or queries regarding service, Please call our toll-free number 1-800-4190-136.